YouTube, TTC, Dirty Bird Nation, Rise Up Nation, everybody in that brotherhood. What's good? Sergeant AR10 checking in with y'all with another quick vid. I uh, want to give a quick update on these Dirty Birds, man. We are so close, a week and a few days away from this training camp. Um, going to be there for the first day of the training camp. Like I said, hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on here in the comments down below if you're going to be out there Flowery Branch. Um, I'll be out there early in the morning, ready to go, posting a video with the Falcons girl on, ready to rock and roll, man. Uh, first day of training camp coming up here soon, and um, couldn't be more excited, man. I cannot wait to see uh, these rookies, man. Cannot wait to see uh, if, if Lindstrom and McGarry are, are, are really what we've been looking for as, as far as offense alignment. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, the running back, um, you know, uh, Sheffield at freaking corner, you know what I'm saying? Like, like how are these guys going to, going to fit in with the team is one thing I want to see. And then can they make plays is another thing, you know what I'm saying? Are they as talented as advertised? You know what I'm saying? So exciting for this training camp, man. Um, another thing I want to be paying attention to is special teams. we got a new special teams coach. A lot of uh, people forget about special teams, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we let Matt Bryant go, you know what I'm saying? To Vecchio, man, can he come in here and, and do his freaking thing and, and be reliable, you know what I'm saying? As far as a kicker, man, um, extra points, long distance field goals, man. Can Tavecchio get it done, you know what I'm saying? Is another thing I'm looking for. And then this defense, man, we got both our safeties coming off of injuries. Um, are are they ready to, to, to come out here and play full speed? Um, have our training staff and, um, you know, uh, you know, everybody that's, you know, in the medical department, have they done the right things to get these guys back full speed before camp starts? You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as Keanu, I, I, I mean, I've seen Keanu do drills. I've seen Ricardo do some light work, but I've seen Keanu, you know, pretty much go full speed um, coming off the ACL. So I don't know if Ricardo's going to be ready. You know what I'm saying? Coming off of Achilles, man. They might hold him out. Maybe they'll hold him out all preseason. Uh, wait to maybe week two or week three to, to throw him out there and see if, you know, he knows what he's doing. I mean, he's pretty much the quarterback of the secondary. So it's important that he plays. You know what I'm saying? It's important that um, he gets back to full strength and gets out there and um, gets our guys lined up in the right position and, you know, helps helps out. You know, free safety, that's an important position. You're the last line of defense. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping he can do his thing. Um, who else I want to talk about? Who else am I looking for, man? Um, oh, yeah, Tyler Davidson, man. Uh, brand new nose tackle coming from the Pudats, man. Is this guy, you know, um, the piece we need to, to stop the run? I think last, last year we ranked like 25th. 27th against a run just terrible man teams would just get a lead on us and then just run the ball and and we couldn't stop them you know what i'm saying so guys like davidson sanat crawford you know what i'm saying uh rasheed hageman you know what i'm saying all these guys ready to just line up you know one technique three technique you know just line up on these on these guards and, and, and tackles man and just refuse to be blocked you know what i'm saying refuse to be pushed back um if you look at our schedule man we play the nfc west we're going to be playing some good running backs. You know what I'm saying? We got to deal with Kamara twice. We got to deal with C-Mac twice. You know what I'm saying? Um, if we can't stop the run, I mean, you know, don't even expect double-digit wins if we can't stop the run. So, out of all the all the good running backs in the NFC West, we got to play in our division. Um, the running backs we got to play is just – it's going to be tough, man. It's going to be really tough. Um, and we got to play the AFC South, too. So, you know, we got to line up against guys like Derrick Henry. You know what I'm saying? So, um, man, it's just going to be it's going to be one of those things, man. Um, I don't know, you know, if these guys can just we can just line them up and, and they won't get pushed or they demand double teams. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. I don't know if they'll be ready to to handle that type of position. And if they're not ready, then we need to get somebody in there that, that is ready. You know what I'm saying? Um, Grady, you know, probably going to play under the franchise tag, um, take his money, you know, play on the franchise tag the whole year, and then we'll see next year if um, he gets a long-term contract or not as far as Grady. Um, Beasley, I, I, I don't know. It's a toss-up. <laughs> It's a toss up with Beasley, man. I don't know what to expect from this guy. I mean, he could he could be good or bad or, or indifferent, you know what I'm saying? In between. But 
uh, like Dan Quinn said before, either he's going to love me or he's going to hate me. You know what I'm saying? So um, obviously Quinn is going to run him through the grinder because Quinn decided to keep him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they didn't want to let him go. They paid him his little 15, 16 million, whatever, and they kept him on the team, you know, after two years of, of only 10 sacks in two years uh, after having 15 before. So uh, we'll see what happens, man, um, as far as the roster, man. We'll see who gets cut. And who stays, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, I've looked at the roster from top to bottom, from, from linemen to skilled players to tight ends to, you know, just top to bottom, man, it's talent on this roster. It's a lot of talent on this roster. It's just can the coaches use these guys correctly is the, the major, major question, man. And I, I don't know, man. Um, I mean, new coaching staff, new offensive coordinator, a uh, new special teams coach, um, you know, it, it's, it's going to be a toss-up, man. Those first two games, I think, are, are going to be critical, and we're going to either set the tone in a good way or in a bad way. You know what I'm saying? The first two teams we play, Minnesota and Philly, man, are we going to are we gonna come out and destroy, or are we going to come out and make stupid mistakes and, and lose and just get in the game? You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what's going to uh, determine – to me, uh, my outlook on the season, man. First two, three games, you know, I mean, with the with the teams we play, I, I don't know what kind of team we're going to have, but I think I'll have, like, a little bit of idea uh, at the first, you know, two, three games. But anyway, Sergeant AR-10 checking in with y'all. Just want to say what's up, what's good. Um, you know, doing my thing out here, trying to uh, take care of business. Um, everybody down there in Louisiana, I got family down there in Louisiana. Listen to the folks on the news, man. Hunker down. Make sure you got enough supplies for three days, four days, because you know the power's going to go. Um, you know certain things are going to get cut off because of the storm. So everybody down there in Louisiana, um, you know, the uh, southern parts of Mississippi, y'all, hold on. Be strong. Um, listen to the news. Don't Be smart. Don't do anything crazy. You know, you might be tired, hungry, but just wait it out. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Sergeant AR-10 checking in. Salute to everybody out there. Be good. Be safe. I'll get up with y'all on the next video. Peace.